Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with another uh, Avatar comic news update. It's a follow-up to yesterday's video where we obviously discussed the um, new piece of art that Team Guru Hura posted and the confusion surrounding the whole My Last Avatar work. Since then, they have kind of replied to their own post on you know Twitter to give some clarification. And here's what they have to say. Team Guru Hura say, Thanks for the reply. My ATLA work finished. We strongly felt that the series was loved by so many fans. It was wonderful working with ATLA team. And they post the same picture from um, before, from yesterday, but coloured in this time. Still not the full image, but, you know, the, the Toph and Katara kind of focus bit. Um... So, yeah, this is the clarification. I think it's the clarification that people were not quite hoping was the case. But they are done with Avatar comics. And this doesn't obviously, of course, necessarily mean that Avatar comics are done. In that, obviously, they could get a new artist on board for Avatar comics. But for sure, at this point in time, where we are so confused about what's happening with the future of Avatar comics... Um, this is, you know, just something that adds on to it. That, like, oh, suddenly the artist who has always been one of the most consistently good things in the Avatar comics has just announced they're kind of finished working on the series. And this doesn't feel like a, oh, we're going on a break, we'll be back in, like, a year or two to do more Avatar comics. This feels like just they are moving on, they are not working on Avatar anymore, and that is the end of whatever contract they had. Um, so... This is definitely a, you know, interesting point now for Avatar Comics in that we are now absolutely looking for a new artist for whatever announcement happens next. And it's just a very confusing time because there's so much left open in the comics to be resolved. Azula's arc would be the main thing. But, um... Just a lot of other stuff. You know, there's been so many hints about, like, oh, maybe we'll do a time skip. But it's never... We've never you know, had full clarification that that's exactly what ha what's happening. Like, is Gene Yang still on Avatar Comics, or is he done with them now as well? And um, this is absolutely in or around the time period where I think Dark Horse need to come out and clarify what's happening here. It is not... I th At this point, I think it's not okay to just say we're focusing on core comics for the time period. They need to say what's actually happening with Avatar Comics. Do they have a plan? Is there going to be a new artist? Is there plans for future Avatar comic series? Because I think it continues to be a thing that baffles most people. That Dark Horse can't release a Avatar and a core comic you know, maybe not simultaneously, but like within the kind of same release cycle so that they kind of overlap. It seems so weird that they have to, you know, stop Avatar to have Korra happen and, you know, vice versa, apparently. So, you know, this is obviously, you know, it should be a kind of celebration of Team Girahura's work on the series up to now, the, you know, the, the series of comics that they have done. But it's, I think, laced with a lot of, um, disappointment because of just how bad the communication has been about stuff that this Team Guru who are announcing that they're done on Avatar Comics is the clearest communication that we are like just full on on a break from Avatar Comics now Dark Horse have kind of more or less said that without actually saying it but now this kind of confirms to us that Avatar Comics as we have known them up to now are done in that we are getting a new artist going forward if there are going to be more avatar comics which we don't even know if that's the case so <clears throat> this i think from dark horse is the time where they need to come out and at the very least just say we do have plans for more avatar comics no concrete information on exactly when but we do have plans to continue it i think that's that is all that they need to say to just give people that confirmation that this series that they've bought like what 15 books for or 15 parts into the avatar comic series that we've bought so many books for will continue at some point and that's what they kind of have failed to do up to now 
and have only given <clears throat> very basic like mm, maybe when core is done we'll come back to it type answers which i don't think is at this point good enough so the other question i suppose remains uh, what is this piece of art that team guru is posting and why aren't they posting the full image because very clearly zuko is somewhere in this picture momo is very clearly on the top of uh, toff's head and probably azula is in the picture as well I'm thinking <clears throat> that what this is, is it is probably some sort of convention kind of poster type thing. They probably, Tim Gurahuru will probably be signing stuff uh, at one of the conventions coming up soon. And this is probably the official art print that's going to be uh, added. That's why they're not revealing it in full. That's why it looks like a, you know... I suppose generic in the sense of uh, like it looks like it's just a bunch of characters on the page, but it's also super clean art in that it just represents, like I suppose, it'll be touching on all of the characters that they've drawn up to now. So we're going to have all of the main cast, I assume, on these uh, on this uh, piece of art once we see it in full. So that's what I'm thinking it is. It makes sense that this is their last like official piece of art for their kind of you know farewell convention tour as avatar as the avatar comic artists and um, the hope now though is that at sdcc or nycc they do at some point announce what's happening with avatar comics because i think the other thing that not a lot of people are talking about but is very quickly going to become an issue is what's the future of core comics because like turf wars part one is coming out soon we know about turf wars part two we'll very quickly be getting into like expecting like part three covers and like pre pre descriptions and stuff like that and then in around like that time that's probably when we we'd be expecting the based on the usual like cycle of uh releases that's when we usually be expecting the next you know comic announcement for Korra this time out like is there a comic plan for after turf wars for Korra or or what's happening and at that point both sides of Avatar are just up in the air. We don't know what's happening with Avatar, and we're not exactly sure about the future of Korra comics, because I think Irene Ko has made it, like, super clear that she is really only staying on for Korra comics, that she won't be doing a second uh, Korra comic series after Turf Wars. That's, I think, come across very clearly in so many of her posts. Um, so unless something changes in the next couple of months, when she maybe finishes work on part two, part three, um, I don't really see that changing. So, yeah, so to, ra to wrap up this video, it's um, it's hard to feel anything but, like, just disappointed at how all of this is happening. How this is kind of being communicated to us, that Avatar is on a break with its comics, that uh, there is no kind of clarification about what's happening next absolutely you know celebrate Tim Gurhura's work on the series for sure they've absolutely been so consistent their art is so good it's it's fit and I suppose made the Avatar comics what it is it's they have been the ones to I suppose really kind of you know have the proof of concept that Avatar works in comic format and their art has been a huge part of that I think especially in the last couple of series their art has been so consistent and I think you know, it's really become a huge aspect of the fandom going forward. So, you know, their work is, you know, a huge part of the fandom at this point. I just hope that, you know, we can continue this story because there is so much still open to be resolved, especially ending it with North and South, which I think for the most part has was just kind of good without being anything particularly notable. It wasn't maybe the best way to go out in terms of story quality as much as the art was amazing throughout north and south so hopefully the story stuff can continue but uh yeah in the comments let me know what what your thoughts are on this D tim gurahuru done with avatar comics what does this mean for the future of avatar comics and what do you think this piece of art is now that this is actually confirmed but um yeah that's been the video thanks for watching and bye